In 1712, the feisty ladies of a Protestant village helped their men fight in a war that pitted Protestants against Catholics. The women of Protestant Farvangen, armed with simple tools, marched through the woods, yelling and making such a racket that the Catholic troops thought a much bigger army was coming towards them and simply beat it. To thank the women for scaring off the enemy, the local lord gave them three days of celebration in which they were allowed to rule over men. We don't know if this actually happened or if it's just a legend. What we do know is that this Women Power Festival didn't start until 1912. Maybe not a coincidence. This was the suffragettes era. The women's rights activists who demonstrated in many countries for the right to vote, a right granted to Swiss women only in 1971. This also explains why some of the women at the festival are dressed up as suffragettes. Not only were they unable to vote, but women didn't have much freedom either, especially in a farming village. My mother-in-law used to go to the parade and party with her friends when she was young. But after she got married and had children, the party was over. She didn't have time, but also her husband didn't want her to go. Things have improved a lot since then, but do women still need to fight for their rights in Switzerland? We want more structured childcare services to be able to go to work exactly like men do. And luckily this is happening. More support services for the family are being built in Switzerland. Women must always fight, and that's what we want to celebrate with this tradition, that the fight for our rights must go on. So we would like to live that we are always in the fight.